So I'm going to start um, from the top of the shelf on one side and just kind of give you like a pan down so you can kind of see the sizing of it. And I'm going to go to the other side and just do the same thing so you can see. Hi everybody, today I have another Topic Tuesday video for you and today's topic is polish, storage, or displays. So as you've seen in a lot of my other videos, this is my polish, storage, and display. Um, this shelf my husband built for me probably five or six years ago. Um, before I had this shelf, I would store my polish in these plastic bins that were probably like this. Um, they were probably like maybe a 12 inch square. They're the storage containers people use to store, um, like if you're into making cards and stuff, I'm not sure what that's called, but like paper storage, stationary, stuff like that. So I had three of those and I outgrew those pretty quickly. And then my husband offered to build me the shelf. So when the first, the shelf was first built, it was this portion only. And when my husband was building it, he took the measurements and using china glaze and sinful colors bottles um he estimated each like um, shelf section to hold about 25 of those size bottles and so um doing the math he factored that this portion of the shelf would hold about 500 polishes so at that time he also offered me this portion of the shelf but i was like 500 polishes um i don't think i'll ever fill that all up so um, if you look at the situation now, obviously I had no problem filling even the 500 up and now I have another section with another um, possibility of um, holding 500 and they're both full. So I estimate I have around 1200 polishes on this shelf. And the reason I say 1200 is because um, I have some stored here, like you can see this Milani. I stored them instead of the label out um, I stored them like turned in and the thin side is facing out and it takes up less space. So I have a few brands I can store like that, like the Milani's and Avon's. And so that did give me more room. And then I also have a lot of minis. So I do count that into the total, which I say I do estimate to be around 1200 polishes. Um, when I get into the actual tour of the shelf, you will see that there is not a lot of room left and I am starting to get stressed out about it. I I either need to do a big purge, which I really don't want to do. It Purging is just hard for me. Or I need to get some more storage, some other type of storage. But um, I know if I do go that route, <clears throat> I know if I do go that route, my husband is going to be like, more storage. <laughs> so I'm not sure what's going to happen with the polish situation. I actually have a few more polishes on the way for orders. Um, I have some tonics and I also have a order from Polish Pickup with two polishes coming in. So something definitely is going to have to happen soon. I'm not sure what. So let's get into the tour of this shelving unit. I'm gonna start here in this top corner. Um, I have a lot of Star Wars stuff up here, kind of just on display. I turned on another light. Hopefully that'll help you guys be able to see the polishes more down on the bottom. So there is a little bit of a shadow, sorry about that. But these up here are all polishes I'm trying to use up this year. Um, I have a couple of color shows. Let me give you the names on those. This one is Lavishly Lilac and Blue Freeze. Lilac, uh, the lilac is this one, the blue freeze is this one. Um, I'm not a big fan of the blue freeze, so I might get rid of that one. I'm not sure yet. Then this one is um, Simple Color San Francisco. I've used quite a bit of that one up. There's a fill line there. This is a mini polish, and this is called Don't Desert Me. This is actually really pretty. I wasn't sure how I was going to like it, but I do like it. Two Yacht to Handle. I'm hoping to use this up once Petty Time comes around because that's a good Petty color for me. Then I have Sinful Colors Full Spectrum. This is a really nice glitter. I used a lot of that. Over here on this side, I have my Talking Yoda doll. Let me press this button here. He talks. Beware of the dark side. Anger, fear, aggression. The dark side of the Force of the I 
that that was really cute. I bought that when um, episode 7 came out. This is a cute Darth Vader mug my cousin got for me for Christmas. And then my husband bought me these um, lip smacker lip balms. There's Princess Leia, a Stormtrooper, Yoda, R2-D2, and Darth Vader. And then when my parents remodeled their kitchen, um, they found my strawberry shortcake lunchbox. I was going to stick that up here too. Then here, um, one of my best friends bought me these. It's a spray polish. So you spray it on and then you top it with this little bottle here. And then just put water and only the polish on your nail stays on. I haven't tried them yet, but she did get me a pink and a purple. Then I have my little chewy um, tin. Then this one here um, is a gift set that my very good friend Antoinette gave to me. She's super sweet. Um, our sons left to college together and I probably like would not have even survived that time if it weren't for her. We just did a lot of talking and she talked me through probably like one of the hardest things I've ever done, leaving my son five hours from home. This was a gift set from my uncle and aunt. Um, my oldest son bought me this. It's like a gel set. I haven't tried it yet just because I'm kind of scared of gel. And then my husband bought me these things here in the corner. Um, you see some like glitter for nails. I need to try this because I watched some videos on it. And it looks cool. And then these are like some art pens that you could do nail art with. I have tried these. They're pretty nice. So let's come back over here to this corner. Um, as you can see the like shelving on these, um, the wood is different sizes. So it allows for a little more polish to fit in a smaller space. These boards are thinner here then a little wider and then the widest. And um, it goes down like that in it does that six times going down the length. Um, here are all my China Glaze minis. Those are pretty much the only minis I have is China Glaze. Um, usually when Sally's does the extra sale off clearance, I'll pick up some mini sets sometimes because they're just a little cheaper and it's a nice way to try out some colors. I bought this bottle just because I thought that snowman was super cute. I got that at Sally's. Um, here are all my Max Factors I was showing you in my sentimental polish video. And then these minis are for um, CoverGirl and they were for the Hunger Games when that movie was out. And then this is an older indie polish maker. I have some Jindy nails. I don't know if you all remember her, but I bought a couple of the Crowleys with um, glitter in them. And then the Lush Lacquer I talked about in the Valentine's um, video. I believe they're called Polish Me Silly now, but they used to be Lush Lacquer. Um, and then next shelf down, these aren't as small as the top minis, but these are um, not full-size bottles either. More China Glaze, a couple of Santi polishes. I bought this at a Rue 21. I don't know if you guys have that, but it's a really cute glitter. And then I start on my Wet n Wild. All of these ones here with this shaped bottle came in like a holiday collection, and they were, um, they're all textured. And then um, I have all my Wet n Wild Megalass. I love Wet n Wild Megalass. They have some beautiful polishes. Um, this one is one of my favorites here. It's called I Moss Have It. This is a gorgeous polish. And then another one of my favorites is I Dream of Jean Genie. This is so, so pretty, you guys. Someone from Facebook sent me that because I couldn't find it here. This is another favorite for me, On a Trip. That is a gorgeous purple color. Then I bought this um, last winter and I really do enjoy it. It is called Haze of Love. It's a little more brick red than it's showing up on the camera. Gorgeous polish. And then oh, let's go over here. So here I have some of my Ginger and Liz, I just have these three. Um, this is one of my favorite bright pinks. I talked about it in my Valentine's video. These are some Dermalect polishes. I just have these three. Um, I got them on clearance at Ulta. They have a great formula, good color on those three. These are all my Butter Londons. I picked up most of those on sale also because Butter London's a little pricey. This is one of the only full collections I have um, in all of my nail polish and this is the China Glaze My Little Pony collection. These are some really really cute polishes. I love these two. 
And if you guys didn't pick those up, you might want to look for them. They are called... Where's the party cannon at? And I just can't canter a lot. These are gorgeous. I wish that some of these mainstream brands would come out with some more really cool collections like that. Um, I would love to see a good Star Wars collection. I would probably buy everything in that. And maybe like a strawberry shortcake or a rainbow bright. Those would be really cool in my opinion. And then here's some more of my china glazes. I have the most china glaze in sinful colors. I try and organize all my polish from um, by brand and then color from light to dark. It doesn't always work out because some colors are a little bit odd, but that's what I try and do. This is one of my favorite China Glaze. This is a gorgeous polish. It's called Bat My Eyes. This came out a couple of, well, it's been a few years, Halloween. It's like a black jelly base with gold glitter. And then this one is also gorgeous from the Giver Collection. This is called Boundary of Memory. That is a beautiful glitter. And then some more China Glaze here. I have some of the really older glitters that China Glaze came out with that I really do, that I really do like. I don't know if you guys remember that when that feather glitter was in, but I did pick up one of those. There you go. It's called Party Fowl. I came out with a whole collection of these. I only got one. Um, so then now on the next shelf, a couple of China Glaze are down there also. This is my Orly collection. Um, I really do enjoy Orly. They have some of the most beautiful neons, I think. Um, this is a super nice one here, Push the Limit. They don't have to be layered over white or anything. They're really nice. The camera is freaking out on these colors, so... This is Melt Your Popsicle. That's like a classic Orly color there. Orly Ablaze. Oh my gosh, if you all do not have this polish, you need to find it. It is gorgeous. It's like neon orange with some gold shimmer. It's beautiful. And then I also have the purple from that collection here. This one is called Hot Tropics. And then this is another one of my favorite Orlies. Um, you can get this look on the nail get it opaque it's called bubbly bombshell that is a gorgeous color and I'll jump down to finish up the orlies oh my goodness you guys so when sparkling garbage came out I skipped on it because I was crazy and then I saw all the like swatch pictures of it and I had to have it so luckily they renamed it shamrock glass glitter for this orly color blast this is gorgeous on its own over black over green that is a beautiful polish. Orly Mirror Ball. This is really pretty holographic with like bigger holographic chunky glitter. Orly Rage. That's a really pretty polish. This is like one of their most classic neons glow stick. The formula on this sucks, but the color is gorgeous. This is, has a good formula. This is called um, Thrill Seeker. Does it need white undies or anything? That's really pretty. There's the rest of my Orlies. Then I come down to Zoya. What's funny with my Zoyas is like I have a ton of Zoyas and then I don't really hardly wear them. I don't know why that is. But they have these really pretty um holographic polishes. Here's one of them, Finley. You can see the hollow there. These are really popular for them. They have all kinds of colors. Here's the green one. Um, they have a blue, which is here. You can't really move it so you can see it. I believe this one's called Dream. Yeah, Dream. And then there's the black, which is Storm. These are all really pretty, um, but like I say, I don't use a lot of Zoya. I don't know why. Odette, this is one of my favorite um, nudes. If you don't have this, you should pick it up. It's super pretty. So, more Zoyas, more Zoyas. Oh, here's another one. This is like a gorgeous gold. I like to use this for accent nails or like a full mani um, that's real sparkly. Ziv, that's really pretty. 
the next is opis those are all the opis i have from the uh, hello kitty collection i didn't pick up the whole thing blues into purples and more purples opi has some really classic colors um this is one of them here susie's hungry again and then um big apple red this one is a gorgeous polish i know it might have been discontinued because a lot of people were looking for it it's every month is Oktoberfest. look at that you guys that's so pretty and then some more opis um some of my favorite nudes are down here i don't know if you call this a nude but i do ice burgers and fries look at that brown that's so nice and then this is probably my favorite nude ever topless beach this looks so pretty with my skin tone and some greens this is a gorgeous polish um my private jet they just re-released re this last year look at the hollow in that this is one of my favorite glitters like ever it's black matte glitter with like some opalescent glitter comet in the sky it's called that's gorgeous and then this is one of my other favorite glitters celestial is more then i have a couple of simple colors that snuck up on board i have uh, the most of these so there's this um this one is a really nice one it's called hot coffee from the kylie jenner trend matters it's very close to that um opi every month is oktoberfest pinks peach I'm trying to see if i see any other favorites on here that i can point out this is a really nice one opi cinderella it's like a blue with pink shimmer it's super thin it needs like three or four coats but the color is really pretty Then down here, there's some more simple colors, glitters. This is a really unique glitter. I really do like this one. It's called Twilight Twinkles. It's like shard gold glitter. This is really pretty. Over like darker polishes, I like to wear it. There's the rest of those. And then down here, oh, another stray simple color. This is my clean color collection. Um, when I first got into polish, my husband ordered me a big set of these. It came with like 48 polishes, I want to say. And I polished my nails like only with these for a really long time because this is mostly all that I had. They have some really cool formulas. The polishes do stink though. But like this is really cool. This is a cool topper. It's called Chunky Hollow Candy. And then, um, let me find that other one. I have a green one here. This is called Chunky Hollow Clover. You put this over black or like another dark polish. And oh my gosh, look at that. So pretty. But like I say, they do smell horrible. So be prepared for that if you don't have any. This is called Jazz Olive. Kind of like an ugly, pretty color. Um, I usually top it with some, um fairy dust type polish and that uh, really brings out the prettiness of that color and then one more ugly pretty color i love from this one is called fashionista these colors kind of look like baby poop or something but they're super pretty on the nails i think and on the other side these are all of my sally hansen's um here is my original formula pacific blue I do have a backup of that. There it is. I really wish that more companies would come back with stuff like this. This is an old nail prisms called Golden Tourmaline. It's a holographic polish. It's super pretty. And then, oh, I love this one. It's a luster shine. This one is called Lava. I always top that with a fairy dust also. And oh, it's so pretty. Then here's all of what I got from the Crayola collection. I just bought this one because everyone on Nailboard was talking about it at Makeup Alley. It's called Espresso. It's 
supposed to be a dupe of a Kiko polish that's no longer available. And then I believe these are also discontinued. I've always thought they were so pretty because they have that um diamond on the bottle. These are like some toppers that you can wear over darker colors to change the look. I have some more Sally Hansen down here. Salon manicure, the gel. Then here are my tonics. If you guys have not tried tonic polish, you need to try it. They have some gorgeous indies. This is a favorite of mine, Light of Lyra. Look at that blue shimmer in there. This one, I believe, yeah, this is the first one I ever bought, Angel Fish. Look at, look at how pretty that is. It has like shards and glitter and oh, it's fabulous. And then this one is also a nice Midnight Magic. It's like a multi-chrome hollow. And they have a couple of confetti polishes. I don't know if you guys remember that brand. They would sell it only at Rite Aid. Then a few more Sally Hansons. They have the Sugar Shimmers. Just this blue one. When these came out, they were super popular. Color Foil, I only have the purple. And then this was a really cool thing they had too. The Sally Hansen HD. Like I was saying, I wish mainstream polishes would come out with more cool stuff like this like they used to. Then down next is my color clubs. These are really cool. Um, they have some really nice, I finally got this. This was like a lemming of mine for so long. Holiday Splendor. Look at that, oh, so pretty. And then they have a nice collection of hollows. I only have one, and it's this one here. It is called Angel Kiss. It's silver. So Color Club has some really cool stuff. I don't have very much of it, but the ones I do have, I do like. Then down here is all my Avon polishes. You can't see these very good because it's kind of dark in this corner. This is a super unique polish. Avon came out with a line of... Um, holographic polishes they're not very holographic but this one is just an interesting color i don't have anything like this in my collection it's called saturn and then they also had these um brushed metal polishes they came out with these were super pretty and this is called lilac quartz avon was doing good there for a while coming out with all kinds of new stuff and then they kind of stopped too there's some Forever 21 polishes, Nuance, um, Nails Ink. I do have this Nails Ink Baker Street, which is supposedly a dupe for the Sally Hansen Pacific Blue. You can see there, very close. My one and only high-end designer polish, the Yves Saint Laurent Piece of Green. I have one. Of these coop I don't even know how you pronounce that, a kukio or whatever, but this color is so pretty. It's called Grey's Anatomy. Look at that sparkle. Next is all my Pure Ice polishes. These have some really nice formulas on them. I do have a few from this Fairy Tale Forest collection they put out a few years ago. Look at that. These are gorgeous. This one is called Precious Jewel. And here's another one from that collection. This one is called Prince Charming. Look at that shimmer, so pretty. Next row down, I have my Rimmels. Um, these are some of my oldest polishes I have, especially these 60 seconds. Oh, this is one of my favorites. This is called Z Zeta Geist or something like that. This is like a multi-chrome, you have to wear it over black. Gorgeous. I've had some of these since probably high school. Um, like I say, I just add thinner to them when they get dry. I bought these mostly for the bottle. They're Sally Girls. I thought the bottles were real cute on those. Julie G's. I bought all of these on vacation because I don't get camped by Julie G here by where I live. L'Oreal's. I have a really old L'Oreal here. I've had probably since high school also. Jet Set Quick Dry. Lucky Split. Next one down, I have a few dance legends that I bought from when um, 
Laro or whatever she was called was selling besides her own polish and she had a big clearance going out of business and I got a bunch of these wild prisms they're super pretty I have three I have a couple pretty serious these are so cute doodle bug and bunny fufu these are um icing polishes this is one of my favorites look at that glitter you guys it's called epic winning I have a couple of Savina polishes. I haven't tried those. A few Ulta polishes. Nina Ultra Pro from Sally's. I wanted this Station polish forever. And then I never wore it. It is called Love at First Lavender. But it's a really, really gorgeous color. I remember when this came out too, I was like dying to get it. And then I never tried it. But I just thought... When I first started into polish, like weird glitters were in. This was a weird glitter. Then these are kind of like my random polishes that are all by themselves. This is a Urban Outfitters Hollow, Silver Hollow. I wish I could have found more on these. I actually got this one on clearance for 99 cents. But that was all they had. I ended up getting that vacation because I don't have an Urban Outfitters by me. Some more hollow stuff. I won this in a contest from Laro Rocky Horror Magenta. When I first got into polish, when I first got into polish, this was like one of my favorite glitters, Jordana glitter. It is called Sequence. I have a couple of Bonitas. These are Formula X by Sephora. I only have a few of those. I have some of these hard candies that they um, put out not too long ago. They're like throwbacks to the older hard candies. This one's Sky. I had this in high school, but I must have thrown it away, so I rebought it. And then this one is so pretty, you guys, if you can see the shimmer on that. That one is called Scam. Next one down, I have a couple of flower polishes. My only Deborah Lipman Xanadu. And then this is the only other full collection I have in my um, polish collection. It is the KB Shimmer Gemstones. These are gorgeous, you guys. If you do not have any of these with this finish, you really, really need to try it. Let me find one to show you guys. This one is called Aquamarine. That is just gorgeous. So I have that whole collection all 12 months. That's the rest of my KB shimmers there. Next, I have some different dimensions. A couple of cupcake polishes. I do have the Very Good Looking. This one was super huge a few years ago. Like a purple hollow. I have a few NYC polishes. I believe those are discontinued. This is my CoverGirl collection. Those are like double the size. There's a few more back there. My Essence polishes. I really do like Essence. I feel like they have, for the price, some great formulas and great colors. This is one of my favorites of this. It is called Dreaming of Love. Look at that color. Um, then I have a few of these whims. I don't know if they're still selling these at Ulta or not. I don't think they are, but this is one of my favorites of that. Next, I have Salon Perfects. These they sell at Walmart. I believe these are made by the same people that make China Glaze. Or that's what I've read anyway. And a lot of the colors do seem very similar, so it probably um, is true. So I don't have China Glaze Fairy Dust. I have the Salon Perfect version of it, and it is called Cosmic Dust. And that's super pretty. There are all my LA Color Color Crazes. Next down here I have my um, Black Heart Beauty polishes. They have some really gorgeous polishes in this line. Let me pull some off to show you. With some what they call Galaxy Effect, but these are hollow polishes. Um, look at that, that's so pretty. This one is called Midnight Galaxy. It's like a black gray. This one is called Dark Purple Galaxy. Um, 
Then they have an iridescent collection. This is called Green AB Iridescent. Look at that, you guys. And they're not that expensive. They're usually on sale. Um, here's another iridescent. This is called Gray Iridescent. It's like gray with blue shimmer. These are really cool, and I love the bottles on those. This is my Milani collection. All I have is the old school Milani's. Really, I haven't bought any since they switched from this bottle shape. But these, um, they actually had some hollows. A few. These are old. This is called High Res. These were so, people were all about these when they first came out years and years ago. Cyberspace. These were big like when I first got into polish. And so I tried to find most of them. HD. And then um, this is one of my favorite polishes here from this line. It's super pretty. Chocolate sprinkles. Look at that brown. Gorgeous. Then down here I have my colors by the row. These were some of the first hollows I bought from for indies. Um, this one is called Beat It. And I bought it because it reminds me of Michael Jackson, who is one of my favorite singers. And then, oh, this one is so pretty, you guys. If you haven't tried this, you need to. Young Turks. Look at that turquoise. Um, and then I bought these from the row when she was selling um, other polishes besides her own. These are called Hits. These have some really pretty um, colors. But these were s like a um, multi-chrome ho hollow, like some of the first ones. This is called Art Lover. I've got one more to show you. This is called So Unique. So these are super pretty. This is my Mary Kay collection here. I have seven of these. I got this. This was limited edition for this fall, and oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Violet silk. And these are all my Nicole by OPIs. And a random finger paints. So this here is like my favorite Nicole by OPI, and probably one of my favorite polishes ever. This is called Luke of the Draw. And it's a black jelly base with silver glitter. I have used quite a bit of this polish. Um, it's like down to here. This is so, so gorgeous, you guys. I love it. I wish I had a backup and I don't. And then this is one of my favorite glitters. If any of you guys were around for like the OPI Muppets collection, that was that one I like first got into polish, um, but I missed this polish that was a dupe of this. This one's called Confetti Fun. These kind of polishes were super popular when I was first getting into polish. Um, next row down is my finger paints. Oh, you guys, this is one of my favorites. This one is called Asylum. This is a flaky. Um, that yellowing doesn't show up when you put it over colors, but I usually wear this over black or like a dark green, and then you guys can see those flakies changing color. I wish I had bought more from this collection. I don't know why I only got one, but this, you guys, is gorgeous. Then they came out with a second set of flakies that just weren't as good. And since I regretted not buying more of that first collection, I bought three of these. But like I say, they weren't as good. So here's some more of those. This was one um, that was really like one of those had-to-have polishes for me. It's called Amazon Sky. Look at that, how pretty that is. And then there was another one, and it was called Queen. This is it here. Queen for a Night. Look at that. Then next row is going to be my Essies. I don't have a ton of Essies. I'm not sure why, I just don't. But I will point out some of my favorite ones when we come up with them. This is Going Guru. I really like this green. This came out a couple of springs ago. 
this is another one I really like. This is called Delhi Dance. Yeah, I think that's how you pronounce it. Real pretty pink. Oh, and then this one is like one of the first essays I bought. This is called Pilates Hottie. It's like, let me shake it up because it looks ugly. Look at that. Very pretty color. And then, oh, this one, you guys, this came out last spring, I believe. It's called Si Vous Play. It's a really nice pink foil. This polish is gorgeous. I wore this a few times last spring right after I got it. It's super pretty. This is one of my favorite essays to do accent nails with or a blingy mani. This is called Beyond Cozy. If you all don't have this essay, you really should pick it up. You can see how much of this I've used down to here. Gorgeous polish. And I have a couple of the Essie, um, like gel. Look at that shimmer. This one is called Twill Seeker. This is a really pretty polish. So then down on the bottom, a couple of stray Essies. And then my Revlon collection. Um, this one here is one of my favorite colors. This is called Bubbly. It's a pretty bubblegum pink. And then this pink also I do like. Cupid. Um, I have a backup of this one here. It's called Hypnotic. friend Janet bought me this and it was so pretty that I went and got a dupe or not a dupe, I went and got a backup and this was actually a super popular polish when I first got into polish, it's like a jelly royal blue and this is called royal it's a really pretty color then next I have my um Jessie's Girls. I buy those when I'm on vacation because I totally can't get Jessie's Girls where I am. But this is one of my favorite pinks. Beach Baby. And then I bought some of these Sesh polishes um, on clearance at Sally's. This is the only one I've tried. It's super pretty. You can see it's like a pink with blue shimmer. That is a gorgeous color. I have a few island girls. Um, my niece brought me these. She's from Hawaii. And um, she bought me these when they went back. They glow in the dark. And then I bought the rest of these in Vegas. This is one of a really nice one. I use this a lot for accent nails. It's just 1045A. I don't think it has a color number. But super pretty. More stuff I bought on clearance at Sally's were these Everglaze polishes. I have three of those. And these are all my Revlon color shows. Those are some really fun ones there. Um, the color shows, they came out with some cool stuff. Like these um, splatter glitters. This row is all my polish polishes. I didn't have any of these at the beginning of the year. And then I ordered a couple and then I went crazy they're gorgeous um this is one of my favorites good omens look at that how pretty that is oh my gosh and then um i'm a sucker for these like turquoise colors i'm a sucker for these kind of like turquoise colors this is called fairy lights i love any kind of light blue like that um, and then I got some of these like nice foils. I'm super into foils. This one is an invisibility cloak. Look at how gorgeous that is. And this other one is called Five Rose Gold Rings. This came out in this year's um, holiday collection. These are just so gorgeous. And then down here I have the rest of my Kiko. This is the last little bit I have is Kiko polishes. 
this one I talked about in my sentimental polish video. This is 531. This is such a gorgeous color, you guys. My husband brought me this from England, and it's just a beautiful polish. There it goes. It focused. Um, these are similar to Zoya, in my opinion. These I have some Zoyas that are very close to these two. And this is 530. This one's 530. And then um, 532. They're pretty, but like I say, I think Zoya. I definitely have some Zoya dupes. And this is just a really nice color. I'm into these kind of, they call them grandma colors, but they're so pretty on the hands. This is 317. And then this is supposedly a dupe of a Chanel polish. I don't remember the name. But I wish this would focus so you can see where there it goes. That is a gorgeous polish, you guys, and this is number 497. I hope you all enjoyed the tour and seeing um, all the polishes that I have and the different brands. And I did point out a few favorites from each one. I know that was kind of long, so I'm glad you stuck with me till the end. I'd like to see everyone else's storage um, for the week and then maybe get some ideas in case I do decide to do more storage. And also just see everybody else's collections. So if you guys like the video, please make sure to click the like button down below. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do. Have a great day. Thanks.